Happy New Year, everybody. It's the end of 2012, and looks like we made it through the apocalypse, and we made it through the election. We found some new planets, and we invented some new stuff. 2012 was a big year for science. And I'm Trace, by the way, and this is D News, and we're gonna outline the top five science stories of the year. And in case you wanna know more, make sure you check out the description below for any links to our coverage. You can't talk about 2012 without Hurricane Sandy, the Sandy Superstorm, the Frankenstorm. You remember that one? Sandy was so big, it affected half of the United States, parts of Canada, and countries in the Caribbean. When it hit, Sandy destroyed homes, flooded streets, caused billions of dollars worth of damage, and left lots of New Yorkers and New Jerseyans without power. But, you know, on the bright side, it gave the subway in New York a nice rinse out, right? Another huge story this year, both literally and by our coverage, is the Costa Concordia disaster. It was, and still is, a huge environmental issue. And you can see the thing from space. Look, it's like a, it's a cruise ship laying on its side. The 114,500 ton cruise liner was grounded 500 feet off the coast of Italy, right on a sensitive coral reef. It's really horrible, and 32 people lost their lives. After months of extracting the poisonous fuel, Crews are finally ready to build underwater platforms and start cutting the ship into chunks to get it the heck out of there. But this story's gonna go long into 2013. Don't worry though, it's not all disasters. 2012 had some inspirational news too. Felix Baumgartner, professional daredevil, took a giant helium weather balloon to 128,000 feet in the air and then jumped out into nothingness, setting records and keeping the entire world on the edge of their seat. It was really exciting. Baumgartner fell at 834 miles an hour, breaking the sound barrier with his body. Wow. And as long as we're talking about falling, another story of human engineering and innovation happened this year. We landed on frickin' Mars. Again. While we're living our everyday lives, NASA just keeps doing crazy awesome stuff. This year, they landed the largest robot ever sent into space on Mars. It was the size of a Mini Cooper, and it had the most complex landing system ever attempted. And when it landed, NASA and all of us space nerds out here, we're doing this. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> I think NASA is starting to realize that they're the cool kids again because they even made a Gangnam Style parody. NASA Johnson Star. 2012's biggest story was probably the Mayan Doomsday. Or at least it was supposed to be. Many cultures around the world have predicted the end of our species and the end of our planet, and the Mayans just weren't one of them. Why did we think so? Because the 144,000 day Mayan long count calendar appeared to come to an end, and people incorrectly assumed that meant that the end of the world was coming. That would be like saying, oh my god, it's December 31st, the world is about to end, what are we gonna do? Oh, it's just a this is another annual cycle. We had a lot of coverage of this non-event over the last year, and I'm happy that we made it through, and I'm sure you are too. But uh, we, I mean, we even had a whole week of D News videos just about the apocalypse. So go, go watch them. 2013 is set to be another big year. We've got two Friday the 13th for those Trixia dexaphobics out there that they can enjoy. China's set to land a probe on the moon. And according to The Economist, the year 2013 is gonna be the first year since 1987 to have four different digits. Huh. We hope you have a great new year. Stay safe and subscribe to D News so you can get our videos all throughout 2013. And if you think we left out a big 2012 story, make sure you throw it down in the comments. Have a great new year, everybody.